Welcome everyone to another East West Beats tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use your MPC Studio and let's say you produced a beat already and you want to bring it into your Logic session to rearrange it to do a mix on it because it is quite hard to do a mix on the MPC itself especially the MPC software. So what we're going to first do is we're going to load up a MIDI track and what we will do is we will load up the uh, Akai MPC multiple output audio unit in Logic. You can also do this in other programs. Uh, might be slightly different depending on the program you do it. Um, I like to expand the window so you can see the whole thing. So first thing we'll do is we will open the project. I know my project is 75 beats per minute so I'll uh, give you guys a little play for it. So let's see what it sounds like. All right, so you guys can see that there's a little bit of low end that's fighting for the bass and even on the low end of the electronic pianos. Once you do a multiple output, what that allows you to do is have 16 outputs from your MPC for each track or each particular sample in the drum session. For the sake of simplicity, uh, this track consists of three different, uh, one drum track, another track is uh, the bass and another one is the pianos. Uh, so what we'll first do is we'll go to Mixer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three different outputs. Um, so you can do up to 16 outputs here in Logic, but I know for my use I will only need three. Um, and these are stereo outputs, so you can see that that's routed to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. So what I'll do now is open my MPC uh, plugin. And then you can go here to your tracks and here you can see everything that's playing. Uh, so let me just hit play. I'm going to lower the volume so you can hear me talking. Okay. Um, so here you can see that I've already set the output to 1 and 2 for the bass right here. Okay. Um, for drums, I already set it to output 3 and 4. And then, um, not using that. And then for this sample, I've set it out to 5 and 6. So the, let's close this. So now you can see that each particular output here, they're playing their e their own instrument that they're they're routed for. So now there are two options. You can either do your mix right here. Um, so let's try to. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna play it and try to EQ a little bit um, of the, of the pianos and the bass so so they can stick out. All right, let's look at the bass a little bit as well. See how it's competing with the kick. All right, so you can see that they're kind of competing for this particular frequency here. So I'm just going to do a very sharp dip right here for the bass. So one thing you guys don't know is, um, or, or you may know this, that for smaller speakers such as iPhone, the peak is right around 200. So if you bump up this frequency, your bass and your kick drums will stick out. Uh, again, and I'm also bumping 200 here because I'm, I'm actually bringing it down onto my, uh, my, my drums. And I'm going to sharpen up the hi-hats a little bit. All right. Let's fix the levels a little bit. Again, you know, uh, this is coming in pretty hot, so I'm going to take the levels down for all of them. All right. 
so you can see um, now I'm able to this is before and this is just after the EQ um, so as you can see uh, this makes mixing the track a lot more easier in logic um, and in part two what I will talk about is how to actually bounce these tracks to a wave file so you can arrange them in logic and not have to worry about the plugin so that's how you mix track in logic pro using a Kai MPC audio unit um, and for the next part what I will do is I will actually show you how to export the audio files the wave files and record them into logic individually so you can mix it further add more elements arrange it a little differently make it more dynamic um, so that will be in the next part and once again thank you guys for checking out my channel east west beats if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel it always helps like comment and share and if you want to see more or if you want to interact ask questions feel free to leave them in the comment box or you can go to facebook.com east west beats to ask your questions thanks guys